Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video that's a little bit different this time. I got to thinking about kind of some video ideas and I remembered that some of my absolute favorite videos ever to watch are product videos. Like what is new and like what are people rebuying over and over and over again because it's that good of a product. I am actually gonna do products that I keep buying over and over again because they're that good. Maybe so I can help some of you. I'm not only gonna show you like beauty things, but I also am gonna show you actually my favorite teas. I don't know if you're a tea drinker, but I drink hot tea at least twice a day. I love it so much. Like one cup of coffee a day, and then I have tea for lunch, and then tea before bed. I have some favorites in there. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few of my favorite books, and yeah, so, drink. Right now I have green tea. I cannot stop buying it. Twinnings green tea, and it, it's the, uh, it has that strawberry and pomegranate infused in it. So moving on, I'm gonna go into some of my favorite beauty products first, like shower products. And, and just, if you don't know already, I'm a hairstylist. And if you really care about your hair, I always recommend professional product. And so I always use Kevin Murphy. Kevin Murphy has been my top favorite. And um, these are the ones I use. Balancing Wash by Kevin Murphy. The other, all, I mean, all of them are great, but all of them cater to different hair types. So if you have hair like mine, I. I get oily and then flaky and then oily and then flaky. And so balancing wash kind of balances the pH levels of the hair and I absolutely love it. But I like to switch it up. I don't know about you, but I like to switch it up. Either way, when I do switch up, I always do Kevin Murphy. Whether it's hydrate, whether it's young again wash, I like those two. And then this, I use the hydrate me rinse and this is the conditioner. I like to mix and match. I don't do like, you know, hydrate wash and hydrate rinse. I always kind of mix and match them. Uh, Young Again Rinse and Repair Me Rinse are also great for, if you have hair like mine, um, wonderful for that. I'm gonna go into body wash. I could not find a body wash that worked for me. I get uh, breakouts on my back, I get breakouts on my chest, and um, in my face. And so I looked and looked and looked. I tried organic. like the most natural washes found one final that finally started working it was this one it's the body clear body wash it's the pink grapefruit one it cleared my back up in a week and i haven't had breakouts on my back since it really did work and it's just at walmart so anyway i thought i'd mention that if you're like going to an organic wash because you know your skin is breaking out a lot and it's not working Maybe there's something else your, your, your skin needs. I think everybody's different and you have to try things until it works for you. In my opinion, everybody's different. So uh, this is my favorite though. I've been rebuying it over and over and over again. It keeps my back clear and my chest. Speaking of skin, I, I wanna talk about, I gotta take a drink, it's still hot, you know? I started to hydrate my skin every time after a shower and I, I loved it. But for some reason, I still got like, I would get breakout on like my legs, not like all over, but like here and there, you understand if you're a woman and you shave your legs, you understand I'm, you break out a little bit on your thighs. At my skin, like after lotion, I put on this fragrant lotion that smells really, really good. And it's supposed to be really, really moisturizing. And it, and it's like, it, yeah, it moisturizes, but my skin like breaks out. And I started to do some research and I actually realized that some people are allergic to fragrances. And I don't know if I'm allergic. It makes sense because it, like, it makes sense that fragrance can irritate skin. I decided to go on a whim and try fragrance-free lotion, like a sensitive skin one, Eucerin from Walmart, completely fragrance-free. And I love it. I have rebought it like three times now and this is how big the bottle is. That is the lotion that I use almost daily. I feel a little left out because I love smells and fragrances. You wanna smell good and you wanna smell like you like coconut or flowers or whatever else you wanna smell like, but it's just not working for me. I'm not kidding, I haven't had a single breakout on my legs since I started using that. If you have skin problems or sensitive skin, try fragrance-free lotions and body washes. If you must, smell amazing, you can do 
just a body spray or you know perfume speaking of perfume I actually don't wear perfume I'm looking for hi baby I am looking for a really good perfume so if you have any recommendations I would love to to know leave it down in the comments I'm looking for my signature perfume. I love clean smells. But right now, this is what I'm using for a perfume. It's just a body wash, and I'm loving it. It's lasted me forever. I use it every day. A coconut milk and lime body mist, and this is also from Walmart. And I really like it. I just spray it on my clothes and my neck, and that's it. It's lasted me a really long time. I'm not, I don't overpower in smells. I like to smell like me and my shampoo and then just a little tiny bit of dusting. I, I don't like to like cover myself in like Axe body spray. <laughs> anyway, okay, I had a client actually tell me about this and she brought it to me um, as a gift and it like made my whole day and I've been using it every time I wash my hair. A hair towel, it's called a Turby Twist. I'm sure you've heard of it um, and I apologize, it's a little bit stained from my hair color. You flip your hair and then you put it over your hair and then you just twist your hair up in it into a little turby twist and then it hooks into the back like this. So just a mat. <laughs> Actually, I'll just do it for you. Why am I doing this? You flip your hair. Say your hair is wet, right? And you're getting in the shower or you got out, out of the shower and it's not gonna hold it all because it's not wet, but um, when it's wet, you'll be able to. And then just twist, 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 twist. And then you put it in this little thing here and your hair isn't gonna be sticking out like this because it's wet, real controlled, and you can just wrap it up really nicely and it gets out of your face. So you can get ready for your day. It's out of your face. For putting your hair up all the time, which I'm very guilty of, like in a tight bun or, or tight, ponytail when you're getting ready instead to keep your hair out of your face before you do your hair it's kind of you're tugging on your hair and it can be straining it can cause flyaways and breakage and this just kind of helps keep it up without tugging on your hair so hard and then you can just when you're ready to do your hair just take it out and do your hair so it's really i love it so thank you to my client for giving that to me gotta take a sip i got to Speaking of keeping your hair out of your face, another thing I use when I haven't washed my hair, because I only wash my hair two to three times a week. So on the days that I don't wash my hair, put it up in a cap so my hair stays dry while I wash my body. And then afterwards, I use this little guy. Just once again, from Walmart. It's just a little, it, you, it keeps your hair back while you wash your face, do your makeup, do whatever you need to. Just put it back like this and it just keeps everything out of your face while you wash and do all the stuff that you do, right? So that's really nice. That keeps my hair out of my face without having to put it again in like a tight ponytail or bun. I've been loving it. I'm gonna go into some hair stuff. I have a uh, hair curling tutorial and a straightening a blow dry tutorial. And I'm not gonna show them to you right now because uh, my blow dryers are at the salon. But I love the Moroccan oil hair dryer. And I just bought a new one called Bioionic 10 times, and it's amazing. It blows out really hard, and it leaves moisture in your hair. It's a wonderful dryer. Curling irons. Babyless is my all-time favorite. I actually just posted a hair curling, updated hair curling video, and it is featured in that video. If you're looking for a great curling iron, go check that video out and um, it's the Babyless Nano Titanium, and it's like about a one and a half inch. I love it. Then straightener as well, it's also featured, and it's just the Babyless straightener. After you blow dried and styled it is this Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair. It's a flexible texturing hairspray, also featured in my last video that I posted. It's not a, very much a hairspray that holds, it's just a texture spray, and it just, just like the title, it's just like, makes you look like you have bedroom hair. Then this is my all-time favorite hairspray, the Moroccan Oil Weightless uh, Finish Medium. My ultimate go-to's for hair styling when, you're, when it's wet and you haven't blow dried yet is Moroccan Oil. It has been featured in all of my hair videos. It is amazing, best thing. If you've never tried it, get it, seriously. It is just like an oil you put from like mid shaft to ends and it's just so good for your hair before you know putting heat on it and stuff. And then, 
This is my go-to for volumizing. I've been doing hair for almost six years and this is the best hair volumizer I've ever used in my hair, whole hair styling career. So it's Kevin Murphy Bodybuilder. Also been featured in my blow dry tutorial. Since I'm just showing you my favorites, I won't show you anymore. I have several products that I love for that. Um, but those are my two top I go back for every time. I don't know if you're looking for a great deodorant, but this is the one I use every single time. I haven't found any deodorant that I like better than this. The Dove, it's the beauty finish one. 48 hours antiperspirant, that's it. From Walmart, of course. I buy everything from Walmart, cause who has the money to go to every single na nature shop there is and go and get all the good stuff from all the boutiques and all the, I don't know, maybe you do. But I, I don't care enough about it. I, I'm gonna invest in my skin and my hair. Those are the things I want to really get professional products on is my skin and hair. I just, I don't know. I just feel like those are the most important and then everything else is kind of extra. But, but that's my opinion. So anyway, Dove Beauty Finish, favorite deodorant. I haven't gone to a different one. Like I got, I've got, i gone to a different one like one time or twice and every time I'm like disappointed that it doesn't smell like this, so. Round brush my hair, but whenever it's wet, I love this. This is the wet brush. It is a wonderful, wonderful brush. If you have fine, tangly hair, this will save your life. I don't have fine, tangly hair, but it is so, like it just, when you brush it out, it just makes it so much easier to get all your tangles out. It has very fine bristles. It's gonna, it just works in it without hurting so much. It's just amazing. So, wet brush. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's everywhere. I have been loving um, these, what are they? They're like paper masks. I've been loving the soothing ones. Anything that I can find that's like more natural, an aloe based mask or cucumber based mask, not the ones you, you rub on and then peel off. I'm talking about like paper masks that you just put on and then you just like take it off and then rub the rest into your skin. It is so amazing and soothing. My skin always feels amazing afterwards. And uh, once again, this is from Walmart. I also love charcoal masks, and right now I've been using one my sister-in-law gave me, um, who works in Mary Kay. It's a Mary Kay charcoal mask, and it's awesome. By the way, I am gonna just wanna tell you really quick that I have completely cleared up my face from eating extremely healthy and clean. Like, I've been eating fruits and vegetables, um, and we've actually cut out all dairy and cut out all meat except for fish. And I'm not kidding you, it is the best decision I've ever made as far as like my skin goes. My skin has never looked better. It, I have completely cleared up my face by cutting dairy and red meat out of my diet. So I just wanna mention that, like if you've got skin problems, try cutting out dairy for a week and see what your skin does. Um, and in my vlogs, you'll see a little bit of my, of what I've been making lately. If you, if you're gonna, if you watch any of my recent vlogs. First of all, guys, I'm a hairy girl. I am probably the hairiest girl I know. I don't know a hairier girl than me, all right? Just being real with you. So, I wanna introduce to you this touch-up razor. I go back and I rebuy it every single time. It is amazing. It's just this little tiny, just make sure there's no hairs on there. It's this little tiny little razor and I shave my chin and my mustache with it. Doesn't make the hair more coarse. It is just, just gets it off for, for the time being, right? So love that. I just want to say you can get that anywhere too. I don't know much about highlighters, but I love them. And if you have a, like a better recommendation, I would love to, to know. I haven't tried a lot of them, but so far my favorite has been this Love Melissa Michelle for highlighter right here is my favorite highlighter I've ever used and I always go back to it every single time. So I thought I would mention that. This whole palette is amazing. So if you ever are at Ulta and it comes with this little lip which I was gonna also show you. Nice like 
it's just a nice neutral lip that I love. I don't like bright colors on my lips. I don't like dark colors on my lips. I don't know why, it makes me feel weird. So I always wear like nudes and neutrals. So I love this lip because of it. It goes in here. And uh, if you need a new palette, I highly recommend this. It's called Melissa Michelle um, and it's at Ulta. But it's probably one of my favorite palettes along with like the Naked Urban Decay palettes. It's infallible eyeshadows. I've been using them for uh, several years now, probably like four years. Um, I've been going back for this specific color. This is, uh, oh, it's called Iced Latte. I use Iced Latte all the time. It's my go-to eyeshadow. I don't know why, and I just rub it with my finger and rub it on my eyelid <laughs> for that color. And then more for like the autumn -y months where I wanna like have a warmer look, this I use um, Amber Rush for Infallible. They're both by L'Oreal at, again, like CVS, Walmart, one of those. Go-tos for my lips, because I do wear a lot of nudes and neutrals, I've tried it all, and except for the professional top brands, because I refuse to spend a ton of money on lip products. My go-to lip liner every single time is Nude in Revlon Color Stay. It's what I have on, actually. What I have on is this, um, I like to mix a lot of my lips. This lip, this lip liner, um, the Love Melissa Michelle lip, and I do, I mixed it with a little bit of this, which is a uh, baby lips, and this is the taupe with me or something. I think it's called like taupe with me. Taupe with me, yeah. These two, um, I believe this is Milani, 60 and 26 nude cream and matte innocence. Those are my two top. Um, lipsticks and then I use blistics every morning and every single night and this is just the medicated lip balm it doesn't have any fragrance or anything like that and uh, actually if any guys are watching this my husband uses this every single day like throughout the day blistex has been his favorite for years and he just turned me on to it this these past two years and I love it it keeps my lips really moisturized and it's fragrance free Again, I'm not a huge fan of like really strong fragrances and neither is my husband. You know me personally, you know that I do winged liner almost every time I do my makeup, except for just when I wanna wear like just mascara. And so far, I love Kat Von D and the, um, there was another one that I got for a while and those are great, but they're all really expensive. If you want a cheaper one, this is my go-to every single time. It's by Maybelline Master Precise in black. I get like the blackest black everything because I have dark features. That's just what I like. I got it at CVS or Walmart, <laughs> one of the two. I ordered Kat Von D for a long time, but it's like $27. I just, I'd rather not. I'd rather spend that money on like hair and skin or food, like really, really good food. And so anyway, this is something, it's kind of funny, okay? I want to talk about bras for a second. Every woman that I know struggles with bras, and it's like the like the the difficult bras, regular bras. I mean, you're probably picturing like just the regular bras. I have not worn a regular bra in literally three years. I am super happy about it. I wear only three things. I wear sports bras. I, I work out every day. So I wear sports bras for that, um, but I also have a few like sports bras that I just wear out. I wear bralettes, which are amazing. They're so comfortable. Uh, you can get cute ones, like lacy ones, or just regular ones, and they're so nice. Uh, actually, I'm wearing one right now, and it's um, very comfortable. And then the third thing I wear when I don't like when I have a showy back or one of my bras is gonna stick out or a strap's gonna stick out and I don't want it to, <laughs> I wear these sticky boobs. And I, like, I don't wear a bra. I just stick these, boob, these boobs on. <laughs> that too inappropriate. Like, is that, like, can I talk about that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, you know, I'm sorry if you have a problem with it, but us ladies need to help each other out, don't you think? So anyway, you just peel them apart. I've used these several times and they keep sticking, they're reusable. There's different shades, so if you're darker, you can get darker ones. If you're lighter, you can get lighter ones. Wonderful for dresses, like going to weddings and stuff. 
and you don't want to deal with a bra i love them i love them i so that's that i really want to talk to you about teas when you eat healthy for a long time things like fruit and tea and things like that are like sweet to you like sweets if you've been like eating bland food like rice and fish i have drinking tea now is like a sweet it's like a dessert which is very weird what i'm drinking right now obviously is green tea by twinnings and it's again the pomegranate strawberry infused tea this one right here so that you know this is another caffeinated tea that i like all-time favorite black tea and it is the lady gray um also by twinnings Lady Grey tea if I'm in the mood for black tea. I always go for that. This is my favorite for if I just want a little spruce of lemon. It's actually um, caffeine free, but lemon does give you kind of a natural boost. And I love it if I just want something very citrusy. The lemon and ginger, it's also good for your stomach. I don't think that's focused. And then I've just been introduced to Yogi. My sister-in-law actually showed me Yogi. The ones I like are caffeine-free. These are my two favorites. This is the bedtime one. This is the one specifically that she introduced, introduced me to, and she drinks a lot of Yogi tea as well. And it's caffeine-free and it tastes so good, and I drink it sometimes before bed. And then also, healthy skin of course i'm like a freak about keeping my skin healthy cleared up my face but i want to like really keep it clear i'm like a nut about it i want to show you my favorite self-help books for my mental state things that have got me through a lot of problems helped me with depression and anxiety and boundary issues and like bad relationships and i have maybe two or three books that i really want to show you if you have a relationship that's unhealthy or toxic or if you have depression or just anything like that, I just wanna to recommend to you some of these books because they are, they're amazing. If you're a reader um, and you're interested in some new books for your mental state and your health, my main focus of this channel is to help people. I want to inspire people and help people that don't think that they can be okay mentally. I wanna show you that that's not true and I wanna help you through things that you're going through that you feel like you can't get through. I've had depression, I have had anxiety and PTSD. I've had relationships, toxic relationships, and I've had to cut people out of my life. And it's just, things like that can be very difficult and make things very hard. And in this channel, more than anything, I want to inspire you that you can be happy even through your circumstances. Some of these books, regard, like whatever your situation may be, um, a lot of them cater to different circumstances. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. It's been a long time since I've read this book, but it's impacted me hugely. It's basically just winning the battle of your mind, worry, doubt, depression, anger, things that just attack your mind. A self-doubt and a lot of negative feelings about yourself and things like that. It's just, this is a great book that really shows you who you are, how to love yourself. Speaking of that, um, I'm reading this book right now. I have not read all of it. I'm only in chapter two, but if this is the same concept. This is supposed to be a really amazing book and me and my girlfriend are reading it together right now it's called Uninvited. Living loved when you feel less than, left out, and lonely. And this is another kind of mind book where like you, you feel bad about yourself or you feel like you're very left out. I personally have always kind of been a lone, lone wolf. I've always been kind of like, you know, I keep to myself. A lot of people have told me I act different in videos than I do in real life and that's because it's easy to talk to a camera. It's not easy to talk to a person. And so, you know, this is me. This is who I am, you know, in public or, you know, at work or wherever I am, I, I'm kind of, I'm a loner. I, I kind of keep to myself. It's easier for me to do that. I'm learning to kind of branch out a little bit. It's hard though. You, you have a certain personality. Everyone has their own personalities and introverts are very much misunderstood. I'm an introvert. I just kind of keep to myself. Again, lone wolf. I haven't had a gazillion friends throughout my life, just some very few really good ones, and um, some terrible. <laughs> Everybody's different, and a lot of introverts, especially, get uh, misunderstood as 
either like snobs or like think you're better than blah 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 and and it's sad it's sad so just remember that you are loved and you are you for a reason you should never change who you are for somebody else you know you have a reason for who you are and if you're happy being you and somebody else isn't maybe that somebody doesn't need to be in your life here's another book that i love they're closely related to um like toxic relationships and what to do about them just you know somebody a friend family member whatever that just crosses boundaries with you and they make you feel like crap um this is a really good one this is called boundaries and it says how when to say yes how to say no, take control of your life. I had a really big issue with just saying yes all the time and I was running myself so thin that, you know, you have to energize yourself too. You have to fill your cup before you can pour for others. And you have to rejuvenate in the way that you can rejuvenate. And if you're saying yes to every single little thing, you are gonna run yourself so thin and you're gonna be so tired and you're not gonna be your best you for somebody because you're so tired and you need to you need to take a break. So how to say no more, boundaries. How to set boundaries with family members, how to set boundaries with relationships, friends, how to set boundaries. This is how to set boundaries with anybody, like no matter who's in your life. I wanna recommend, this is another very, very similar book, um, The Emotionally Destructive Relationship. And this is for if you have a, a friend, a family member, a significant other, uh, somebody that you feel not so much abusive to you physically, but they say things that just make you like, just think about who you are in a negative way. So basically, let me just, let me just read this to you really quick. Um, maybe it doesn't seem to be abuse, no bruises, no sexual violation, even smiles on the surface. Nonetheless, before your eyes, a person is being destroyed mentally. Perhaps this person is someone that you wanna help and perhaps it's you. Basically, it's just talking about these are the devastating effects of emotional abuse in families and relationships. Showing you how to recognize behaviors that are meant to control, punish, or hurt you. Uh, confront and speak truth when the timing is right. Determine when to keep trying and when to shift your approach. And to me, this is, this is one of the books that made me realize that it's okay to cut people out of your life. And it's okay to not say yes to everybody. And it's okay to, to say no. And you're not a bad person if you decide to live your life in happiness and let go of something that's been really holding you back and hurting you physically, emotionally, whatever. You need to get this if you have relationship issues with anybody. I'm in the happiest state I've been in years because I've chosen who's in my life. I've chosen, I've taken control of my life. And I, I have to say, it has helped me hugely, hugely. Hurts, but it's worth it sometimes. And then lastly, I wanna recommend this book if you're married or if you're not married. It can be any relationship that you're in, how to recognize the five love languages. Those, this is like one of my favorite books. Me and my husband read this book um, and we took the quiz in it to find out, there's like this little quiz in here that to find out um, what your uh, love language is. It's really cool. It actually tells you what, what makes you feel love out of the five things that people do to express love. What is your love language and how do you accept love? For example, my husband is physical touch. He needs to be scratched. He needs to be rubbed. He needs to be massaged. And that to him is me telling him that I love him. Whereas for me, if he like does something for me or like brings me home flowers without me knowing me that's how i feel loved and some people it is um there's so many different ones some people it's just quality time there's words of affirmation gifts acts of service and physical touch there's so many different people out there and everybody's different everybody receives love in a different way so if you think about it if you show love in in a way that you feel love, that might not be the way that they receive love. And so even though you're being loving in your eyes, in their eyes, that might not be loving. So anyway, 
that's one really huge trick to marriage. I highly recommend if you're in a relationship with somebody or you're married, um, read this book, it's wonderful. There's so many books I can recommend. If you have any other questions about the books I read, I would absolutely love to share them with you. Anyway, I think that's all I'm gonna show you for now. Right now, I, um, I'm also looking for some great products as well. Uh, what's new, what's the best, what's in, and tell me. I would love to know what your favorite products are. Also would love to hear what you got out of this video, if you liked this video. Thank you again for watching. And uh, gotta take my drink before I say bye. I hope that you were having such an amazing day today and I hope that you have an amazing week. If you haven't heard of some of these books and you do pick them up because you watched this video, I would love to hear about it because I have, I, I feel like I've been through a lot and I feel like I can, I can really give wisdom and, and insight and I feel like I can help people that go through the same thing or that have gone through the same thing. I just have a huge passion for helping people and inspiring people. If you like this video and you wanna see more of me or me and my husband, uh, we do a lot of vlogs together. We do a lot of travel vlogs, goofy, just random vlogs. And if you'd like to see more of that, just click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this video. I've never done a product video before and I would love to hear what you think about it. So thank you again for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in my next video.